Good day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another one. I've got it early. I had the day off work. My NRL round number 26 tips. I've had a long, hard think about whether to do this early because there's going to be a lot of team changes, I think, which I'll try and speak about predictions pre. Um, I picked two first try scorers last week. Hopefully, I can pick one again this week for you guys. But let's get into my round 26 tip, which starts off on Thursday with the Panthers and the Eels, the grand final rematch for the second time this year. So starting us off, we've got Parramatta taking on the Panthers at Penrith. Parramatta beat the Panthers earlier in the year, 17 points to 16 in my first NRL game for the season. The Panthers have been rolling. They are looking like a team that are going to potentially three-peat. Um, you know, they it was a close contest against the Titans uh, coming into the second half, but obviously the Panthers found a way to get away from them and, and scored lots of points in that second half, but... Yeah, it took a while for them to really, really click and get into form and had a bit of luck go their way as well. But look, they should be too good for Parramatta here who are going to be without Mitchell Moses, might have the return of Sean Lane. They have been able to beat the Panthers a bit in recent years, but I just think right now that Penrith are going to be too good, especially at Penrith. I think this game will be closer than people think though. I think that Parramatta have shown some really poor performances lately and I think this is one of those games that they might want to just you know, put in effort, try and win for pride, but I think they will be defeated. I think it will be eight points, Par uh, Parramatta to lose by eight. So Penrith to win. I'm going to go 24 points to 16. I think we can keep them to, say, under 30 points. 30. I reckon they could score 30, but no more than 30. I, I really think we have a, st a style of play that can trouble Penrith, especially the offload ability, things like that. But I think that Penrith are going to get the job done here. I'm going to go an easy one. Stephen Crichton is going to be my first try scorer. He'll be running at uh, Bailey Simonson. And look, I haven't done many, but for the first time in a while, you guys have wanted any time try scorer. And I'm going to go Bailey Simonson to return the favour and score a try against Stephen Crichton. So Penrith to win 24 16. Bailey Simonson anytime and first try scorer at Stephen Crichton to kick off the round on Thursday night. Parramatta's final game of 2023. The next game sees the New Zealand Warriors at home to the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Now, Warriors were very lucky to get the win against the Manly Seagull the other week and then kicked a field goal to seal the deal. As for the Dragons, I thought they were really competitive against the Storm, but some silly error cost them in the end in a game that they probably could have won or it definitely could have been a bit closer. It was only a 10-point game, really entertaining game as well, high-scoring one. The Dragons shown that they've got points in them. Now they have to travel over to New Zealand, which I think it's going to be a bit tough for them here. Um, I'm hoping Zach Lomax is back because that would be a big inclusion, especially when it comes to goal-kicking as well. But look, the Warriors are a different beast. They're sitting in third on the ladder. They are one of the teams to beat right now. Um, they're going to need to put in a better performance with how the Dragons played last week. They could give them a bit of a scare. But ultimately, I think New Zealand should win this game and win it well. Not as bad as the previous scoreline between these clubs earlier in the year. But I am going to go with the Warriors to win by 20 points. I'm going to go the Warriors to win 34 points to 14. So I think this one will be quite a high-scoring game. I haven't got an anytime try scorer set up for this game yet. But my first try scorer, I'm going to go with Marcelo Montoya. I know everyone's going to be thinking Dallin Watteni Zalesniak, but I think they're going to go out left, target Ravalawa, and uh, and I think Marcelo Montoya will score the first try for this one. But the Warriors should be too good here for the 6 o'clock game against the Dragons. Next up, you've got the Cowboys and the Dolphins. The Dolphins, the home team. I think this game is at Suncorp Stadium. I can't see because obviously the thing's not out yet, but... Um, yeah, the Dolphins, you know, they were very unlucky to lose that game against the Tigers the other day. Clutch, Abby Corosia, goal kick gets them the win, and they fought to get back into the game as well after the Tigers got out to a bit of a lead. And then as for the Cowboys, they were woeful against the Sharks. They just had no urgency. 
Um, they don't look like a finals footy team. They, they kind of remind me of Parramatta in the sense that they had a really good middle to the year, but in recent weeks, they started to come back down to earth. So it worries me that the Cowboys might actually not play final this year, considering they were my tip for the grand final at the start of the year um, against the Melbourne Storm. Now, the Dolphins were able to beat the Cowboys at Townsville earlier in the season, much earlier in the season. As for this game, Dolphins will probably have Lemalulu, um, Hamaso, and I think, was it you and Aiken? Someone else was out as well last week. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but Dolphins, they did well with a lot of their players out, and the Cowboys flogged by the Sharks. Sharks have a great record against the Cowboys, so we probably should have all seen it coming. As for this game, I'm going to go with the Cowboys here. I think the Cowboys are going to be a little bit too good for the Dolphins here. I'm going to go Cowboys to win by 10. I don't necessarily think the Cowboys will win this one 13-plus. I could see a world where it happened, but I think they're not playing their best footy. They should be able to get the job done here. I'm not 100% confident, hey. If the Dolphins have all their stars back, they know how to beat the Cowboys. Uh, Cowboys 28, Dolphins 18. Any time try scorer, I'll go the Dolphins. I'll go Connolly, Lemalulu to score any time. It's a bit blurry. Sorry about my screen. And I'm going to go with Semi Valame from the Cowboys on the right wing to score the first try for this one. But the Cowboys, they should be too good for the Dolphins on Friday night. The game sees the Melbourne Storm up against the Gold Coast Titans. Now, the Titans obviously played the Panthers last week. Now, they have to play the Storm. Poor bastards. Is it back-to-back -back big scores? Probably, but I do think the Storm had a lot of, you know, they leaked a lot of points, and the Titans are a team who can score points. The Titans have not the best defense, but when they want to turn up, they have got defense in them, and that's why I don't think the Storm are going to blow them out of the water here and score, you know, 40 points. So, look, I think Melbourne will win. Um, Munster was in doubt last week, but he's probably... I'd say the birth of the second child will happen this week and he'll be free to play for this game. Um, Pappenhausen could potentially come back as well. He's been in New South Wales Cup for a while there. Um, and Will Warwick was a late change last week, so I expect him to be named in the starting side. I'm going to go the Storm by 16 here. I'm going to go the Storm to win 30 points to 14. I do think they will be too good for the Titans, but I think it won't be like a 22-24 20, plus kind of victory for the Storm here. I don't think they're the team that we thought they were. I still genuinely believe that at Pen if Penrith get knocked out, that the Storm can potentially win the comp, but it's a long shot right now. Um, yeah, I, I think Melbourne will win. I think they've got too much power within their side. I think their bench is great as well. Nelson coming off the bench is a great inclusion, but I'm going to go to the back row here. I'm going to go someone who scored a try last week. I'm going to go Eli Katoa, to score the first try in this game, I think he will. And I think the Storm should be too good for the Gold Coast Titans in the 3 o'clock game. Next game sees the Sydney Roosters up against the West Tigers. Now the Tigers got the job done against the Dolphins. Benji Marshall has now taken over the reins as head coach going into next year with the sacking of Tim Sheens. Um, and then the Sydney Roosters, great win over the Parramatta Eel. They are keeping their slim finals hopes alive. Don't have the greatest for and against, so they need to win this game by at least 26 points for them to be playing final. Need to put a big score on the Tigers, which is something that I think they can do. But I think the Tigers have been really, really good in decent weeks. And I think the Tigers, in the back of their mind, if they're thinking about last year's 74-4 defeat, they'll have something to play for here. They're also trying to avoid the wooden spoon. I don't think they can avoid the wooden spoon, but they're trying to. I think the Roosters win this game, but I do think it will be closer than some people think. I'm going to go the Roosters to win by 16 points. I'm going to go the Roosters to win 28 points to 12. I do think the Tigers can stop them from scoring, you know, 34, 40, that type of high score. I think their defense has been much better um, in recent weeks to what we saw at the start of the year. I'm going to go a roughie, though. I do think that Lindsay Collins is going to score first. I reckon Lindsay Collins has been really, really good, and I just think he can get through the Tigers' middle. So Lindsay Collins is my first try scorer, and an anytime try scorer for everyone to back is Joey Manu.
but I do think the Roosters will be too good for the Tigers at the 5.30 Saturday game. So this should be a cracking game. It's the Canberra Raiders up against the Brisbane Bronco. It is the last time that Jack Whiten and Jared Croker will step foot onto Canberra's field in Canberra Raiders colours. Um, it's going to be a massive occasion for Jared Croker. I, I feel like backing Jared Croker, first try scorer, you've got to back him any time. I haven't got it written here, but you, you've got to. It's his last game at the Canberra Raiders at home um, before taking on, obviously, the Sharks in the final round away. Raiders are still fighting for a final spot. Win this game and you're in. I believe that Jock Madden will be starting in the seven jersey with Adam Reynolds ruled out over the weekend, we heard. Um, but I... I just think the Raiders are leaking way too many points still. Their for and against has been horrible all year. And they let the Bulldogs score 24 points. So I actually don't see a world where they beat the Broncos here. I think the Broncos coming off the bye are going to be way too good. You know, Walsh, Carrigan, um, Ezra Mam's been fantastic for them. Herbie Farmworth's been great. So I think the Broncos are going to be too good here. I'm going to go the Broncos to win... Uh, 26 points to 16. I'll go 1 to 12. I just, I, Adam Reynolds is a big loss, and that's why I'll go 1 to 12. If he was playing, probably 13 plus, setting up some nice try assists, but he is out. I'm going to go Reese Walsh first try scorer. Reese Walsh first try scorer, and I mentioned anytime Jared Croker there, but I do think that the Raiders will get beaten by the Bronco, which will really put them on life support. Coming into the last week of finals. Next up, really interesting game. A tough one to get a read on. It is the Canterbury Bulldogs hosting the Manly Seagull. It is the Bulldogs' final home game of the year. The Manly Seagull almost beat the Warriors. Crazy to think that. They were high odds in that game. Um, you know, they leak a lot of points, Manly. So I think this one will be high scoring. I'm going to actually say that one of the best bets for the week is this game to go over 44.5 points at $1.90. I think you're getting a nice price, and I think we're going to get about 50 points in this game. Both of these sides should be able to score at least, you know, 16 points, which will help you, but we need more than that. Um, look, I'm just going to say it. I think that Manly will win this game, but I feel like it'll be very high scoring. I'm going to go Manly to win by 10. I'm going to go Manly to win 30 points to 20. I think their defense has been pretty shocking. The Bulldogs have some try scorers within them, um, and they can create opportunities. They look like a much better team where, with Sexton joining the club as well. Um, yeah, I think Avarilla at the back's been good. I think they're a chance here. I do, but I think Manly Seagulls are going to be my tip, and I think they're going to win by 10 points, 30 to 20. First try scorer, I'm going to go Ruben Garrick at the back. I think Ruben Garrick's due a try. I reckon, I've got a feeling Garrick might score a double in this game, but I think he'll score first. And anytime try scorer, I'm going to go with Jacob Carraz for this one. The final game of the round from McDonald Jones Stadium sees the Newcastle Knights' final home game, unless they get a home game in the semi finals. Tell you what, the Knights are playing some great footy. Seven straight, they have made. They have not won seven straight since 2001, which is the time they won the grand final. Last time before that, 1997, they won the grand final. Are the Knights the real deal? Well, they are playing some great footy. They have beaten the Storm. They have beaten South Sydney. They almost beat Penrith. They almost beat Brisbane. And that was earlier in the season, a different team that we have seen in the back half of the season, especially. Can Newcastle win eight in a row? Or will the Sharks be able to beat them? The Sharks have been playing great footy. We wrote the Sharks off entirely, and here they are winning in recent weeks. Well, I'll tell you what, the big thing about this game is that Jackson Hastings will probably be back to boost the kicking game of the Knights. As good as Adam Clune was, you put Hastings back into that side. Bradman Best, Kalen Ponga, a big home crowd. It all leads to a Knights win. But it's not going to be easy because the kicking game of Lachlan Ilias, the players like Latrell, Cody Walker, that get frustrated, you don't have that at Sharks. You've got Nico Hines. The kicking game is fantastic. Showed last year why he won the Dally M. He's having a really good back half of the season. Very involved in a lot last week. Um, you've got a nice forward pack as well that's scoring tries for fun. Plenty of attack about the Sharks. They do fall asleep in some moments, though. And the Newcastle Knights, I mentioned, they don't start second halves very well, but they are ultimately getting the job done and looking like a great team. 
I am going to tip Cronulla here. I don't think many people are going to do it. I think this game's going to go to golden point. I really do. I reckon Nico Hines is going to be the hero in this game. I'm going to go the Sharks to win in the upset of the round. They're paying about $2.20. I like it. I think the Sharks can get them. Newcastle have won seven in a row. They are looking great, but I think they are due a loss, and I think this is the game that they lose because the Sharks are fighting for a top four spot. I think they're going to be a little bit too desperate. I think their four pack's going to stand up here. The Sharks to win 19 points to 18 in Golden Point. We're going to get a cracker in the Hunter. I wish I was going. I'm doing a case break for NRL Elite on Sunday, so make sure you tune in for that. Um, I'll be doing some commentary during the game as well. And my first try scorer, I do think that the Knights have great attack. So I think the Knights will score first. And my tip is going to be Bradman Best. But I think that the Cronulla Sharks can beat the Newcastle Knights on Sunday afternoon. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Let me know your tips in the comments. Hopefully, we can jag some more first try scorers as well as any time try scorer. Let me know what games you're going to this round. I don't think I'm going to any footy this round. No, I'm not. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.